Oi, gente, tudo bem? Hi, guys, how are you doing? I'm Jeff from Brazil, and I created this channel to be the solution if you're planning a trip to Brazil. Everything you want and have to know if you're considering someday to visit my country. So, if you have questions, ask in the comments, subscribe, and let's start! If you're watching this video, it's because you're considering to go to Foz do Iguaçu, right? The city in Brazil where there are the famous waterfalls. I recently went there and made a very helpful playlist to help you to visit Foz do Iguaçu. It's gonna be somewhere here, so safe to watch later. So, 10 things you have to know in advance if you're going to Foz do Iguaçu. Number one, the main attraction is the Iguaçu Falls. It's located inside the national park, which is called Parque Nacional do Iguaçu. Since this year, you have to book tickets in advance to visit the park. If you want to know the website, prices and everything, have a look at the description. Inside the park, there are extra activities and there is one that I recommend you to visit. I did and I just loved. It's the Makuku Safari Tour. It's a little boat that takes you very close to the falls. Look, it was pricey. Actually, it was expensive, but I would do it again. I really liked this experience. We paid about 300 Brazilian money and you still have to pay the entrance fee for the National Park. The National Park works like this. You go online and book your ticket. You have to select the day and time. And in case you don't go, you can't get your money back. By the way, I have a video to teach you step by step. It's gonna be somewhere here. And once you get, and once you get there, you will see the boarding time, show the tickets and jump in a panoramic bus. Bus. The first stop is the Makuko Safari Tour, which you'll obviously just jump off if you are doing the tour. The second stop is where you start the walk to see the falls. Don't worry, in the bus they inform you how long and the distance it is. I really don't remember because you go walking and take pictures, I don't really see the time going, so I don't remember. And if you don't feel like walking, they advise you to stop at the third stop, because we will be directly at the main point to observe the falls. And don't forget to take the elevator, the view from there is fantastic and it's free. Number four, if you're going to do the Makuko Safari Tour, uh, let you be the last experience because you're gonna be totally wet, including the things you leave in your pocket. So pay the, ex the little extra fee to leave your belongings in a locker. Number five, most of the people go one day to the Brazilian National Park and the other full day to the Argentinian National Park, which is perfect if you can. Right now, the land border between Brazil and Argentina is closed. And the only way to go from Brazil to Argentina is by plane. So basically, the tip in this topic is, if you can, save one full day to visit the Brazil, the Brazil side and another full day to visit the Argentinian side. And make sure, before booking the tickets, if the border is open or not. And pay attention to the next tip. Guys, in the website of the National Park, they don't say in any moment that the border is closed. So before you book your tickets, ask in your hotel if you're gonna be able to get there by car or not. Because you can't get a refund if you don't go. Guys, I was very pissed off. This is a very important information. A lot of people go there to see the falls from Brazil and from Argentinian side. And this should be very clear uh, before you buy your tickets. And unfortunately, it's not. At least when I was there, it wasn't and almost cost me one day and some money. Number seven, a lot of people ask this one. Is it worth it to see the waterfalls from both sides? Yes, yes, it's absolutely worth. Just do it, if it's open. Number eight, how many days should you stay in Foz do Iguaçu? 
Well, I advise you two or three days. Day one, National Park to see the falls from Brazil side. Number two, uh, National Park to see the falls from the Argentinian side. Ah, sorry, I forgot. In the first day, I would do the, the, the waterfalls, of course, and the Macuco Safari Tour. I really liked. And in the third day, there are some waterfalls where you can swim. So you're gonna have to do a hike to get there. And it's very nice. Number nine, in case you need to buy electronics like cell phones or cameras, for $2, you can cross the border and go to Paraguay. And this border, I'm 100% sure it's open in the day when I make this video. Well, it's much cheaper than in Brazil. Brazilians go to Falls do Iguaçu and they don't see the falls. They just go to cross the border and go to Paraguay. I mean, they travel five, seven hours just to go there shopping. Uh, and make sure the documents you're gonna need if you go to Paraguay and the maximum of dollars you can spend without paying taxes. Brazilians, for example, can spend up to $500 in goods and if you're in two, you can like get together and spend $1,000. And number 10, and if you wanna travel in Brazil by bus, there's a really nice option. Leito cama seat or cabine cama seat. That means that your chair becomes a bed and it reclines 108 degrees. The website to compare all the bus companies that make Sao Paulo to Foz do Iguaçu and other places to travel in Brazil by bus will be at the description. So guys, if you got here, it's because my video helped you somehow, so please like the video, subscribe, share with your friend who is going to Brazil with you, and if you have questions, ask in the comments, you can also follow my Instagram, it's where I daily give tips about Brazil. Have a wonderful time here, don't forget to watch the playlist about Iguazu Falls, see you, bye!